Matt. How's it going? Going well, Alex. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. We're here today to talk about content AI, uh, a new thing that we've been so busy with. We have so many people asking us about, and we thought it might make sense to take a step back and kind of look at how we got here, what it is, and where our customers can can get used to, to taking advantage of content AI. And I thought a good place to start would just be kind of how we got here, right? Let's take a step back the last five or 10 years and take a look at the world of content and storage and access of said content. Like what has created this need for content AI, Matt? Like where, what, what, how did we get here? Yeah, so how we got here was essentially much of uh, data that comes into into companies is locked in documents. And in order to get those documents out, now when you talk about documents, you're thinking about invoices, you're talking about receipts, you're talking about uh, contracts that are being written and being passed back and forth. You're talking about work orders. You're talking about permits, forms, all this kind of all these kind of things uh, that that businesses use to uh, to record things, but don't really, can't really get the data out of it. In order to get the data out of it, they had to have people look at it and people write into other other sources what that information was from there uh, from these documents into these other places. And from that came this, this massive amount of, of data that was simply sitting locked in documents. So what companies did, large companies, is uh, they had the means and the ability to create uh, artificial intelligence systems that would then read these documents, pull uh, information from them, and put them into their data source without using the massive amounts of people that, that uh, were required in order to pull all this information out. So what has happened over the next five, uh, five years or so is that that big brain, that AI, has now become available to virtually anyone with a, uh, with a license. So whereas small companies that, that may be just starting out or, or the very largest of companies have now the ability to take these, these documents and have an artificial intelligence system look at them and pull relevant information from them. So it's funny because we're just post holidays now and I've got like my mom sitting at the Christmas table asking me to try to describe content AI to her, right? Or describe like artificial intelligence. So like for a late, very layman's terms, right? What, what is content AI? Like what can we do with this? So I, I like to describe uh, the artificial intelligence as a very focused five-year-old. Uh, a five-year-old can can read. They can they can pick out pieces of information. They don't necessarily know what it means, uh, and they uh, they get distracted easily. So if if something looks like what they're supposed to be look uh, looking for, they may kind of go go down that rabbit hole. So what content AI is is training your your focused five-year-old that doesn't sleep and doesn't uh, doesn't do anything other than look at these documents. Uh, to focus on what is the relevant information, how do I find it, and, and where. Unlike in traditional development situations where you tell the, uh, you tell the program exactly where to go. It is, it is this particular pixel on this particular page in this particular, it's going to look like this. Content AI can use, as, as a human does, intelligence to say it's going to look kind of like this and it'll be about here. And it can, like a human, look at that information and say, oh, this is what is, is relevant. This is what is being looked for. So in, in a nutshell, that's, that's what artificial intelligence is, is a, a computer that has the ability to discern these fuzzy areas that humans normally do. So I'm in, sign me up. Let's put those five-year-olds to work, right? I'm interested. You mentioned work orders and invoices and all sorts of things that, you know, if I'm sitting here thinking all this paper that I have, I, how many years back we have these documents, my mind's racing. Like where, where can I get started? What's a good place for me as, as an organization to say, you know what, this is going to show us a very quick bang for our buck in getting content AI up and running. Right, so the, the easiest way to go, we think, uh, is, is using Microsoft Syntex system. And, and Sparkhound has been named a, a launch partner for Microsoft Syntex, but what Syntex will allow you to do is very, very quickly take a look at the information that you may already have in your, in your SharePoint system, 
uh, and pull that information from those documents into your existing or new uh, content types within SharePoint to first of all, make it easier to retrieve and easier to search. We all have those libraries that are sitting out there with, with 10,000 documents and, and only three pieces of metadata. This is one way to make that unstructured data structured. From there, that information is now available to us. So now we can hook it up to things like Power Automate. We can, we can run reports on it. We can do all kinds of things uh, that you would normally have a human be able to actually go in and type in into that metadata. So as a starting place, that's where I would look. I would start there and then, and then see, where, see where your journey takes you. So let's think then big picture about this journey, right? I know that we've sat in on a number of meetings that we have to be somewhat tight lipped about, but where, where do we think this journey can go, right? Like, you know, at the end of 23 or, you know, five years down the road, like what do we think we could be doing with content AI? Yeah. So it, it let's, let's just look at, at one specific area. We'll talk about document retrievability. So having your information in your, in your documents is great. Being able to pull that information back. So let's think for instance, on a, a regulatory instance, maybe uh, your OSHA requires that, that you need to have these type of safety documents pulled back very quickly in, in uh, for inspection in, in short order or SOX reports or something like that. So what Content AI in the Syntex system will be able to do is first tag those documents without any human interaction, just, just an upload. And then you would be able to search upon that inside uh, uh, inside SharePoint or some other some other system, SharePoint's probably going to be uh, where you're going to do that. But it, it gets better than that. At the end of at the end of uh, 23, you'll be able to hook up other pieces of artificial intelligence into that, so you can start to use clear language query or, or simply asking the search. I would like to see all documents related to this company from this date to this date, and have that returned to you. It starts though with getting the information into the system. And that's that's where Syntex will, will have your, your biggest play. Yeah, we're, we're starting to see this already with some of our clients who work in regulated industries or the public sector say, look, just because of these requirements that are getting passed down, like it, it would literally take us tens, if not hundreds of years to manually put these things in. Like it's just, it's literally impossible, right? So this is almost just like, a, a complete godsend to have this capability to put this through. Um, tell us a little bit about kind of, uh, you know, where SparkCon can get started and, and kind of where we like to look at that very beginning part to say like, look, these are some considerations you should have in place. Yeah, so we we, we like to work backwards actually. It's, it's all about where your data is and what you want to do with it. What is what is the end goal here? Is your end goal retrievability? Is it reporting? Is it is it something else? So what that's that's where SparkCount likes to get involved and 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 be your partner in these kind of things to find out where it is that we want to go and then look at where are you right now and then let's fill in the gaps. And that's where the project comes in. That's that's where the the really the uh, the rubber hits the road and that's that's where we like to roll up our sleeves and get and get our our hands dirty. Actually, the Syntex system is actually very easy to use. It's it's something that your company can get in and, and start building models right away. However, the really the really difficult part of this is is that end goal. What do I want to get out of it? What is the data? What is the reporting? What is the retrievability? And that's that's really where Spark Count comes in and helps. Awesome. Thanks, Matt, so much. Looking forward to uh, speaking with you more later this year about content AI. Thanks, Alex.